Hi, this is Ernie Schmidt with Palato Therapy, and today I want to talk a bit about the shame of anxiety and also a few tips that um, could be helpful to you if you struggle with fear or nervousness. I also want to share a quote that goes along with this concept, so I'll start with that. Um, so today's quote is, nothing gives a fearful man more courage than another's fear. This was uh, said by or written by Umberto Eco. Um, you could also say nothing gives a fearful person you know, more courage than another's fear. And I don't know exactly what the original intent was of this um, quote, but I found it um, interesting as an anxiety therapist. We do find, and I, I find this, when people talk about their fears openly, and I hear other people's things they're nervous of, it does kind of make me feel better in some way, um, not in a, hopefully in a bad way where I'm judging them, but more in the sense that it just makes it more uh, open to talk about it, that, oh, we're all kind of human together, um, I know for sure, and I would say a fact in my experience, is that shame is such a big part of anxiety therapy and getting over your own fears and nervousness and, and just sort of that emotion. The shame piece is huge. And I think anybody here that's listening to this uh, video or watching this video would, would understand that, you know, culturally, it seems like it's sort of bad to be nervous. If you ever say that you're weak, you're, you feel like you're weak, um, or if you're anxious about something, it's sort of a negative thing. So often what I find is people say, oh, I'm not nervous about that. Um, that was something my <laughs> my dad used to say quite a bit. Oh, no, I'm not nervous. I'm just concerned. And so it's this common thing I see with myself. Um, I have to really watch myself not to sort of pretend I'm not nervous and just try to pronounce, yes, I'm nervous about this or I'm anxious. Um, but clients often have the same thing like, oh, no, I'm not nervous about that. I'm just this and this. Um, so I think that's a big part of what happens with um, getting over our anxiety or our fear is that we just tend to deny it. So we can't really embrace the emotion because it's not culturally appropriate. So we shove it away and then we can't address it. So um, I find it awesome when people do have the courage to come into therapy to work on this, they want support. That's a big part of what we're doing is just helping people kind of at least embrace that part of it and then we can address it. You know, if we look at all of the things that are written about fear and anxiety, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a human emotion that everybody feels at one level or another. Some are more uh, struggling with it than others. But this idea that, oh, I don't have it is, is to me ridiculous. It's like saying you don't have sadness, you don't have anger. I mean, everybody has this, um, you know, pretty much common human emotions. And that's one of the things I was saying before is that if we deny it, it really does lead to more suffering and no chance to work on it. So one thing that we do, um, it's a big, uh, it, although I think it's a big tip, it's kind of a simple process is when people are afraid of something or are nervous about something, what we try to make sure we do is we write it down or at least fully discuss what they're afraid of. Most people, myself included, when I'm afraid of something, I get kind of stuck. Like, oh, I'm nervous about the potential of that going in that direction. But if somebody were to ask me, well, what are you really afraid of, Bernie, and really had the patience with me and, and didn't judge me for it and just really wanted to hear me out, often when you help people get to the end of the story, like what is it they're truly afraid of? At the very end, it, it, the anxiety almost always falls down. Like you start to realize, oh, okay, well now that I've gone to the end of the story, there's nothing there to be afraid of. It's similar to the concept of uh, the Wizard of Oz, like the man behind the curtain. You know, it's, it's very scary, but once you open the curtain and you see, oh, okay, there's nothing to really be afraid of. I wouldn't say this works for every single anxiety problem or, or disorder, but it is a really common um, technique that we use and just to kind of have the person go further with the fear, um, the hard part is most of us feel judged, we'll ask about our worries and we try to pretend, oh, I don't, I'm not really afraid of that, or I know it's silly, but I find myself in therapy saying, don't worry if it's silly, I don't, I'm not gonna judge you for it, but I need to hear what it is. And that's an awesome technique. And I'd say so many times people at the end go, oh, gosh, I'm so glad you had me go all the way because then it's, I'm no longer afraid of the thing. It's like you blocked it out. Um, so hopefully I'm making sense, but it's a really common tactic just to write this stuff down, make sure that you really don't hold back because of your own shame and vulnerability to really express the fear. And often that's a great technique um, in therapy or even in your, you know, your personal life without support. So hopefully that was um, helpful. I'll go ahead and read the quote again and wrap up. So nothing gives a fearful man more courage than another's fear. And I just felt like this was a good chance to talk about you know, the shame of anxiety, but also seeing that everybody has different fears. And so my fear may seem really shameful to me, um, 
but when I hear that people have other fears, then it makes me sort of feel more human and connected. And so um, we, we have a group that we run, um, Anxiety to Wellness, and it's very similar that we teach a lot of great techniques, but just that connection with other humans that have fear is such a helpful process. And one of the things I love about therapy is hearing people be vulnerable and talk about things that you know they're ashamed of, but that we all can relate to. And it's such a, a nice um, profession to be in to have that connection with clients. So hopefully you found this helpful and um, be in touch with your comments. Thank you.